Hi everyone, this is Amy, the teen librarian from Stevens Library, and today I am just sharing a read-alike video with all of you. So some of you may be familiar with the book title Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo, YA novel set in a fantasy world where a bunch of teenagers band together and make some crime, but it's good crime because they're helping people. Kind of, sort of. So I know that this book is very popular with a lot of teens that I see coming into the library, so I thought uh, for those of you who are fans of this book, I have some suggestions on books you may want to follow up with that are similar and I think you will enjoy. So here we go. So my first suggestion is called The Gilded Wolves by Roshani Chokshi. And this is set in a magical version of Paris in 1889. And there is a young treasure hunter named Severon, and he's seeking something greater than any treasure. He is seeking to restore his inheritance that was so cruelly stripped from him years ago. In order to pull off this dangerous job that will get him exactly what he wants, Severon gathers a band of unlikely compatriots. An engineer with a debt to pay, a historian banished from his home, a dancer with a sinister past, and a brother, if not in arms, then in blood. Anyone is hold the, er, everyone is holding their own secrets, and anything could go wrong at any second. But if they pull it off, they just might get exactly what they need. My second suggestion is The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. And the story is about Jude, who when she was very young, she and her sister witnessed the brutal murder of their mother and father at the hands of a fairy lord. Years later, they live with that same lord who took them away from the human world and raised them in fairy. Jude will do anything to prove she belongs there among the immortal, unearthly beings that call themselves fae. She will prove it to everyone, but most of all, she'll prove it to Cardin, the twisted prince of fairy. Soon, Jude is pulled into a world of the fairy court, which is more dangerous and deceptive than anything she has faced before. But Jude has learned from the best, and she can be just as dangerous. My next recommendation is called Serpent and Dove by Shelby Mahurin. And it's a story about Louise LeBlanc, who is a witch in hiding. Witches, whether they are good or bad, are mercilessly hunted and burned by the church. Having run away from the protection of her coven, Louise must rely on her own instincts to survive. When fate brings her path to cross with Reed Diggory, a soldier for the church, it takes a rushed marriage and too many lies to count for Louise to survive. As Reed and Louise grow closer, their feelings grow, but the truth of Louise's identity could tear them apart forever. Uh, my next recommendation is called The Young Elites by Marie Lu. A disease called the blood fever took many lives as it ran rampant throughout the country. Adelina was one of the few survivors, though the disease left her physically changed with strange silver hair and a frightening scar. There are rumors that say that survivors of the fever also have mysterious powers. When she meets the young elites, she finds that it is more than rumors. She has a power growing inside herself that could destroy everything if she lets it. All the while, the young elites are being hunted by Terran of the Inquisition. There are those in power that fear the young elites could destroy everything, and they just might be right. And then my last recommendation is called All the Stars and Teeth by Adeline Grace. As a princess of the island kingdom of Visidia, Amora Montara has spent her entire life to be the High Animancer, the Master of Souls. When the day comes to her to prove her worthiness, she succumbs to the darkness of her powers and brutally tortures a man to death. Doomed to a pitiful state, Amora flees with the help of her betrothed and that of the sea captain Bastion. They sail out to seek a way to restore Amora's honor and her rightful place on the throne. Out in the wide world for the first time in her life, Amora crosses paths with all kinds of people and finds that the state of magic is not what she had been taught. Returning home will take more than she could have ever imagined and will cost her even more. So, if any of these books sound interesting to you, you can check them out. They are available through our Overdrive collection and Libby. So if you would like to check out these titles, feel free to search them online through our e-library. So until next time, Take care. Bye.